to lose. We need to prepare everything. Oh dear, is it really time to wake up? Oh, give me a few seconds. I'm coming. Morning, aunties. I had such a funny dream tonight. What exactly did you dream of, dear? We would love to know. Tell us. Oh, you will not believe me. I dreamt that I was flying on a broomstick all over the town. Eleanor, should we tell her? Don't even dare. We're going to tell her tonight when the right time comes. Oh, and before we forget, happy birthday, darling. Okay. Now it's time for you to go to school. Bye, darling. Sabrina, hurry up. We're gonna be late to class. I'm coming, Cindy. Sabrina, are you okay? You're acting really weird today. Did you sleep well? Uh, yeah, yeah. I just thought that I saw a cauldron. I must be going crazy. Hmm, that's really weird, Sabrina. I think you should sleep a lot more. Cindy, did you see that too? Or was that just me? I saw some sort of energy ball. Anyways, let's go. We're gonna be late for class. Cindy, let's go. The whole place is on fire. Sabrina? There's no fire at all. Let's go to class. Sabrina, school is over. Let's go home. Just give me a few seconds, Cindy. I'll be right there. Cindy, do you believe in magic? Yeah, I do. When a cute guy kisses me, it's magic. Well, I meant something like astral projection or... Being a witch? Sabrina, I don't think witches exist. Oh, okay, I gotta go now. Bye, see you at my birthday party. This must be some sort of dream. It can't be happening. Sabrina, this is not a dream. You're a witch. Wait. You really can't talk? Am I am I really not dreaming? You should be able to see a sign on your right hand. That proves that you're a witch. Half a star? But what does that mean? It means that you're a half witch. Your mom is a full witch, but your dad is a normal human being. Antis, I can't believe this. Pumpkin said something. He was talking. Am I really dreaming? Sweetheart, you're not dreaming at all. It's time that we tell you. In our family, we are all witches. And on her 18th birthday, every witch gets her powers. And all of these things you saw probably in school, they are a sign. 
that you already have your powers. And now you must learn to use them. Your aunt's right, Sabrina. And now you have to learn how to use your powers. So you're going to go to a very special witch school. Okay, Sabrina. Now let me show you some magic witchcraft. Oh, come on. That's nothing. Watch this. Wow, aunties. That's completely amazing. Oh, this is just basic witchcraft. Wait until you see the real awesome things we do. Now, Sabrina, let me show you how to brew a love potion. Wait, Eleanor. We can't do that. Don't you remember? We agreed to never brew love potions again. Of course I remember, but it's just to show Sabrina what we can do. We're not gonna give it to anyone. Now Sabrina, remember, the only thing witches are not allowed to do is making a love potion and giving it to someone, because it only gives heartaches. incredible. I still can't believe that I'm a witch. Yes, Sabrina, you are a witch. And Pumpkin, he was also a wizard. But, as punishment, he has to live as a cat for 90 years. Now, Sabrina, let me tell you some stuff about us witches. So, a few things that we can do. For example, we can travel to the past future and back to the present. We can open portals and also we can change our appearance or even turn ourselves into an animal. Now let me demonstrate some things to you. Darling, everything that you need to know is in this book. There you will find all of the rules that you need to follow and all potions and spells. Wow, that's so awesome. And now I think I'm gonna go to my room and try out all of these spells. Pumpkin, you gotta help me. So how exactly do I cast these spells? Oh, Sabrina, you will find everything in the book. Hmm, let's see what we have here. Hmm, okay, Pumpkin. Now, in order to change my appearance, I have, I have to imagine it. That's what the book says. Now, let's try it out. Now, there goes nothing, Pumpkin. What do you think, Pumpkin? Hmm. It doesn't really suit you, Sabrina. Try something else, okay? Wow, pumpkin. 
Look at this style. I love it. Meow, meow, meow. I love it too, Sabrina. This is awesome. Hmm. That doesn't look so bad either. Don't you think, Pumpkin? Meow, this is catastic, Sabrina. Wow. Wow, Pumpkin. This is probably my favorite hairstyle. Your new title should be Sabrina the Beauty Queen. Oh, thanks, Pumpkin. What, Pumpkin? You really don't like this one? Oh, Sabrina, this outfit makes you look old. Now that's what I call fashion, Pumpkin. Oh, this one. Water, water in my hands, now I rule the land. Sabrina, check out this one. Fericus. Sabrina, dear, it's time to go to the new school of witchcraft. We already packed your bags. There you go. I'm gonna miss you both so much. Come on, Pumpkin, let's go. Oh, darling, we will miss you even more. And, Pumpkin, you are going to make sure to keep Sabrina company because any pets are allowed in the school. So, Pumpkin, you're gonna go with Sabrina. Don't worry, sisters. I will make sure that Sabrina will be alright. And I will keep her company. Goodbye, sisters. You must be Sabrina. Welcome to our school, Sabrina. I'm Miss Greenfield. I'm gonna be your private teacher. Oh, and before I forget, this is your roommate, Cindy. Cindy? What are you doing here? Well, it turns out that I'm also a witch. And actually, I saw the same signs you did on that day. But I didn't want to admit it because I was thinking you might think that I'm crazy. Wow. You said you don't believe in witches, remember? Yeah, I guess I did. But I didn't want you to think that I'm crazy. So, I do believe in witches now. Especially if I'm a witch myself. Wait a minute. You two know each other? What a surprise. Yes, Miss Greenfield. Cindy is actually my friend. We even go to the same school together in Greendale. Wow, this is amazing. Okay, ladies, you're gonna be in the same room. Let's go. Wow, we're even gonna be in the same room together. Sabrina, that's awesome. I could teach you all of the spells I know, and you could teach me all of the spells you know. Okay, ladies, this is your new room. And... Don't be frightened if there is any ghost or spirit. 
lots of times there can be ghosts or any other spirits but they are really friendly now i'm gonna leave you two alone so you can rest after a long journey hey cindy watch what i can do yeah, my God! Wow, sister, that's awesome. Now check this out. Oh, good morning, Miss Greenfield. Oh, Sabrina, darling. Good morning and welcome to your first lesson. Do you know what we're going to do today, darling? No, Miss Greenfield, I don't know what we're going to do, but I'm so excited. It's my first lesson. Oh, Sabrina, I'm so excited to teach you. Look at the board. This is what we're going to do today. Okay, Sabrina, the first task is going to be how to brew a potion to make it rain. And then... You're going to learn how to teleport to any place you like. And the last task of the day will be, Sabrina, oh, it's so exciting, how to control electricity. Okay, Sabrina. Please read the instructions on page 27 on how to brew a potion to make it rain. Okay, Miss Greenfield, I'm gonna start reading now. And after reading it, Sabrina, I want you to show me. Let's see how good you are at witchcraft. Oh, Miss Greenfield, could I ask you a question? My cat, Pumpkin, you know him. He asked me if, if it is possible that he could be with me at the lessons while we are practicing, because he gets bored so easily. Oh, of course, Sabrina. As long as Pumpkin will not distract you from anything, that's fine. He can be here and watch you. And of course, we witches use cats to help us. Thank you, Miss Greenfield. Pumpkin is going to be so happy. Miss Greenfield, I'm ready to brew the potion. Wow, Sabrina. You mastered the first task. Excellent. It's just excellent. Now, Sabrina, I want you to read the text on page 30 on how to teleport to another place. You can choose any place you like. We will see if you get there. Okay. Now, in order to teleport, I have to raise my hand and imagine a place. Okay. There we are, Miss Greenfield. I chose Paris. Oh, Sabrina, you have real talent. You are so skilled. I knew you would master this task like a great witch. Okay, Sabrina, now let me teleport us both back to class. Okay, Sabrina, the last task is on how to control electricity. Please read the instructions on page 5 and demonstrate afterwards. Miss Greenfield, I think I'm ready. Now, I'm gonna show you. Electricus. Congratulations, Sabrina. You mastered everything today. 
Class is dismissed. See you tomorrow. Have a great time with your friend. Oh, hi Sabrina. You're finally back. I want to show you what I learned. Oh, hi Cindy. You seem really excited. I'm also going to show you what I learned. Let's see who is better. Oh, Cindy, check this out. This sounds so interesting. How to summon Count Dracula? Oh my goodness. Are you sure it's safe? What if he bites us? We're going to be vampires and you know that. Oh, come on. It's going to be fun. We're not going to be vampires, Cindy. I'm going to say the spell now. Children, children of the night, show us the master and the fright. Where am I? Oh, I see. You two probably used the spell to summon me, right? Yeah, Cindy and I did. Well, it was my idea. I hope you're not gonna bite us. Oh, that's all right. Don't be scared, I'm not gonna bite you. Oh, thanks God, he's not gonna bite us. That's what makes me happy and calm. Oh, don't be scared, my pretty ladies. I must say, you look really pretty. Cindy, that was the best idea ever. He's a real charmer. And don't tell me you're in love with him. Don't tell me that. Oh, Cindy, I'm not in love with him. Okay, we'll see. Okay, ladies, I have to go now. But I'm sure I will see you two again. Bye. Bye, Count. Wow, look at your face, Cindy. Actually, I think you're the one that is in love with him. You're getting red. Oh no, Sabrina, I'm not. Where's Pumpkin anyway? I'm here, Sandy. Did I see Sandy, Cindy, and my dear girl, Sabrina? Meow. Oh, Pumpkin, where have you been? Cindy's really mad at me. And the funny thing is, she started telling me I'm in love with him. Cindy, Sabrina, what are you two talking about? I don't get it. Well, we talk about Count Dracula. Oh boy, Sabrina found a spell in the book to summon Count Dracula. And we summoned him. And, well, we both reacted kind of in love, so... Yeah, but she's gone now. Don't tell me you did that, Sabrina. This is so dangerous. And this spell is probably forbidden. It is? I mean, yeah, Cindy warned me. She said that it's really dangerous to summon him and that we could become vampires because of it. But thankfully, he was a gentleman. He didn't bite anyone. Oh, Sabrina, I am disappointed in you. It could have been worse. He could have bitten you. That would be a problem. Anyway, Sabrina, should we try another spell? Oh, of course, we could try another spell. But I'm not sure which one. I think we basically tried everything. Pumpkin, what should we try? Hmm. Maybe seeing the future? What do you think, ladies? That's a good idea, Pumpkin. We could try out a spell like this. On which page, anyway? Sabrina, sweetheart. Open page 110. Okay, it's on page 110. And the book says that we need a mirror for this spell. Okay. We have a mirror, Sabrina. Don't forget that. It's right there. Wow, 
Is this some kind of a magical mirror? My appearance, when I look into it, it's different. Oh, of course, Sabrina. We're in a witchcraft school. Everything is full of magic here. Okay, Pumpkin and Cindy, I'm gonna read the spell now. Hidden doors, hidden walls. Show us the future as it is. That's a funny spell. It doesn't really rhyme, though. I think something's gonna appear now. Watch it. Did you see that, Sabrina? That's really weird. Roses and the white cat? Yeah, Cindy, I saw that. I wonder what it means. Hey, Pumpkin, what do you think does all of that mean? I wish I knew the answer, ladies, but I don't know myself. Oh, by the way, Miss Greenfield said we can go home tomorrow for summer break. Oh, aunties, I missed you two so much. Oh, Sabrina, my darling, we missed you more than you could ever imagine. Oh, yes, Sabrina, it was so boring without you here. We just tried to cast some spells just for fun. So tell me, darling, I suppose you learned lots of spells? Yes, aunties, I did. And I think Miss Greenfield is very nice. I'm really happy to hear that, Sabrina. Now, tell us, what exactly did you learn? I learned opening portals, teleporting, lots of stuff I don't even remember. But one spell that we did... Oh, and did you know? Cindy is a witch too. She went with me to the same witchcraft school. What a surprise! No, actually, we didn't know that she is a witch. Oh, and before your auntie forgets to tell you, someone, while you were away at school, Someone left us roses on the doorstep and a love letter. Someone must have a crush on you, dear. Oh, now I know what that means. We tried to see the future in the mirror and I saw roses. I can't believe it. Sabrina, you did what? This is a dangerous spell. Seeing the future is, is for advanced witches. I, I didn't know, but it was Pumpkin's idea. He told us to do it. Pumpkin, come here right now. You seem angry. Did something bad happen? Pumpkin, you're supposed to help Sabrina, but instead... You're trying to get her into trouble. Didn't you read the book? It's really dangerous to cast a spell to see the future in a mirror. Oh no, I'm so sorry. I just couldn't help it. I was so curious to see what it would show us. Calm down, aunties. Nothing bad happened. It's not Pumpkin's fault. I tried to cast a spell, once Pumpkin told me. Oh, Sabrina, sweetheart, I'm so, so sorry. I should have warned you, but I got so excited to try it out. Oh, Pumpkin, it's not your fault. I was the one who was trying to cast a spell, and I wanted to. Hello, Sabrina. I heard someone left you roses. Well, now we know what the roses in the mirror meant. Anyways, 
I think I'm gonna cast a spell to see who this secret admirer is. Sorry to disappoint you, Sabrina, but that is forbidden and you can't do it. You're not allowed to. Oh, I suppose we are not allowed to do it because it's a love spell. Exactly, Sabrina. So don't even think of it. And what will happen, Pumpkin, if I do it? In that case, just like me, you will be turned into a cat. And that will be for 90 years. And you will not be allowed to do any magic. Even if that will happen, Pumpkin, I don't mind being a cat. Sabrina, I think you should listen to Pumpkin. After all, he is supposed to help you, which he does. Oh, come on, Cindy. I know that you're excited to do it, too. Oh, man, you read my mind, sister. Okay, I think you convinced me, but I'm still scared. What if something bad happens? As Pumpkin said, the worst thing that can happen is that I will be a cat. But that doesn't bother me. Okay, Sabrina, I'm actually excited indeed. But we do need the book. I don't know the spell by heart, you know. Yeah, that's true. We need the book. Pumpkin, do you know where it is? Oh, no, 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 Sabrina. I'm not giving you the book. You will not cast a spell. It's too dangerous. And your two aunts will blame me for everything then. Oh, Pumpkin, come on now. Where's the book? Oh, never mind. I'm gonna find it myself. Oh, Sabrina, the book is right there. It's even flying to you. Oh, you're right. After all, don't forget that we are witches. Okay, Cindy, did you find the spell? Yes, Sabrina, I did. Check this out. In order to do the spell, you have to go into a forest at midnight. Oh boy, that sounds scary. But we're gonna do it anyway, Cindy. If you're really gonna do this, Sabrina, then I'm coming with you. Because there are many bad things that could happen to you in the forest. For example, werewolves. Okay, Cindy, here we are. I'm gonna say the spell now. Are you ready? Yes, sister, I'm ready. But I'm a bit scared of you know that. Goddess of love, show me the admirer I love. Sabrina, I didn't see any admirer. I just saw the fog, nothing else. Because if you read in the book at page 10, only the one that casts the spell can see her admirer. Okay, Cindy. And Pumpkin, did you see it? No, Sabrina. And just like Cindy, I did not see anything. Oh, and by the way, Cindy, you were so shocked that you said something wrong. You said, at page. It's called on the page. I wonder who it is, Sabrina. Who did you see? You will not believe this. 
I can't even believe it myself. Oh, come on, Sabrina. Who was it? I'm so scared. Tell me. I mean excited. It... it was Johnny O'Keefe. What? You mean the dead singer, Sabrina? Yes, I can't believe it either. Does that mean that a ghost is in love with you? Yeah, I suppose so. Meow. Wow, Sabrina. How can that be possible? A ghost is in love with you? But how can he even know you? He's dead. And... oh my god. Sabrina, Sabrina, wake up. You will not believe this. Look at yourself in the mirror. Oh no, what am I gonna tell my aunties? Oh, I should have listened to you, Pumpkin. Now I have to spend 90 years as a cat. No, Sabrina, you're very lucky. Because the book says that the new witch only has to spend one hour as a cat if she makes something wrong. Oh, thank goodness. That's so great to hear from you. I was so worried. Yes, Sabrina. Don't be worried. But we should hide you for one hour. Otherwise, your aunties will be very mad at me. Oh, no, Pumpkin. It's my fault. I was the one that cast the spell. Sabrina, I found this potion bottle. Maybe it will help you to turn back into human form, so our aunties will not realize that you were a cat. Oh, Pumpkin, that doesn't really help. I'm still a cat. Oh no, Sabrina. We have to hide you then. I'm so sorry, Antis. I did go into the forest at midnight. Pumpkin warned me, but I really wanted to find out who he is. You're indeed lucky that you only have to spend one hour as a cat. So who is your secret lover? You will not believe this, Antis. He's a ghost. It's Johnny O'Keefe. A ghost? seen anything yet. No flowers and no letters. Oh, Sabrina, it's very dangerous if a ghost follows you on earth. He should be on the other side. But why is it dangerous, aunties? It's dangerous, darling, because he might harm you. Anyway, Sabrina, if you don't want to spend one hour as a cat, there's a potion that will help you turn back into normal form. Here, Sabrina, drink this. This should help. Oh, great! I'm finally human again! Oh, aunties, I just heard a knock on the door. Wait, I'll open it. opened and the letter fell out. Check this out, Pumpkin. Pumpkin. 
Duncan, please read the letter for Sabrina. Of course I will, sisters. Dear Sabrina, you are the sweetest girl I have ever seen. I fell in love with you when I saw you from heaven. Meet me tonight. I will come into your room. Joni. Oh no! Eileen, we have to cast a spell in order to protect her. Antis, if he's in love with me, he would never do any harm. Why are you so worried? Oh, Sabrina, you don't know how spirits think. They are not the same when they were alive. Spirits start thinking differently after they die. And he might do you harm without even wanting to do so. He wants to what? Pay Sabrina a visit? That's so dangerous. He's probably gonna use a mirror or a portal to go into our world. Oh, Antis, but that's amazing. Wait, can I, can Cindy sleep with me tonight? Because I'm really scared at the same time, and I want Cindy to be there when he comes. Okay, Sabrina, but we will have to cast a spell in order to protect you. But his spirit will still be able to contact you. <laughs> Sabrina, he will really come and s see you? Oh yes, Cindy. And when I opened the door, the letter came out of a portal with lots of flowers falling from the sky. Wow, Sabrina, you're so lucky. Oh, Cindy, I am really lucky and happy, but at the, but at the same time scared. Sister, I think it's time that we choose you a new outfit. Yeah, you're right. Let's see. What do you think about this one, Cindy? No, sister, that's too much of a makeup. Yeah, I think it's too much, though. Let's go to the next one. And what about this, Cindy? Oh no, that looks like you're going to a party. Yeah, I think the same. It's not too romantic. Oh, Cindy, this looks glamorous. But it's also not completely suited for you know what. What about this one, Cindy? Please, no glasses anymore. Okay, no glasses anymore. What about this one, Cindy? Looks like it was made for you, sister. Yeah, I think that's the one. Let's leave this one. So, Sabrina, when is he gonna come? Oh, Cindy, I suppose at midnight. Eleanor, did you find the potion that we need? Okay, Eleanor, I'm gonna read the spell. Angels from above protect Sabrina from her love. It's already midnight. He should come any second. Yes, sister, I suppose so. Oh, look, another letter from Johnny. Let's read it, Cindy. I'm so excited. Sweet Sabrina, every day I've been thinking about you. Your eyes, they sparkle like the stars. 
Wait for me. I will come soon. Johnny. Oh, Sabrina. You're so lucky. Sabrina! Look in the mirror! I saw him too. Sabrina, the first time when we made the spell in the forest, I didn't see him, and now I saw him. Oh, Cindy. He, he, he was staring at us. And now he disappeared. Yeah, he did. Wait a minute, Sabrina. He left you something. Look at this. Let's see what it is, Cindy. Oh, Cindy, this is beautiful. Just look at this beautiful, beautiful necklace. Yes, Sabrina, and check this out. There's a letter with the present Johnny left you. Yes, you're right. Let's read the letter. My darling Sabrina, this is a very special gift that I decided to give you. This necklace allows you to travel into the past very, very fast. Please travel back to the 1950s. I have a surprise for you, Johnny. Put on the necklace, Sabrina. Let's see what Johnny has for you. Let's travel to the 1950s, girl. Oh yes, yeah, Sabrina. Come on, I'm so excited. Let's go. <laughs> There we are, Sabrina, 1950s, the most beautiful time. Wait a minute. Sabrina, look at this. Did you see that? Oh! You're right, Pumpkin. But what does that mean? Why is that my name, Sabrina and Johnny, playing here tonight? Look, Sabrina, another, another letter from the sky. Dear Sabrina, this is what I wanted to show you. In the past, we were actually together. That's why I'm in love with you. We have been dating in the past. And we also sang together. Wow, that's incredible. I gotta tell my two aunties. Let's go back to our time. Oh, Sabrina, darling. You're finally awake. Good morning, darling. So, how was it? Did you see Johnny in the mirror? Come on, Sabrina, don't be shy. Tell our aunties everything that happened. It's really interesting. Dear sisters, I don't think that you will even believe this. What will we not believe, Pumpkin? Tell us what happened. Oh no, sisters. I'll let Sabrina talk. Come on, Sabrina. Aunties, I can't believe this, and I think you will not believe this either. So, when Johnny appeared in the mirror at midnight, Cindy and I saw him, and he left me a present. Oh, darling, that sounds lovely. Oh, come on, Sabrina, tell her the real amazing thing. So, this necklace is able to go into the past. So, we went into the past. 
and saw Sabrina's name. And then Johnny wrote us a letter saying that they were together in the past. Wow, Pumpkin. Sabrina and Johnny were together in the past? And you, all three of you traveled back to the past? Yes, aunties. Cindy, Pumpkin and I, all three of us, we traveled back to the past, to the 1950s, and there we saw my name and Johnny's name. And a letter fell from the sky saying that Johnny and I had been dating together. We had been together in the past and we were even performing together. Oh, Sabrina, I'm completely shocked. This is unbelievable. Now we know why Johnny Spiro tried to contact you. He loved you since you were with him in his past life. Hello, Sabrina. So, did you tell your aunties everything that we saw when we went back to the 1950s? Well, first I wanted Pumpkin to tell my aunties what happened, but Pumpkin kept procrastinating and he said that I should tell my aunties. So I did, yeah. Oh yes, yes, Cindy. Sabrina was too shy to tell her aunties, but I kept telling Sabrina that I'm not gonna say a word. So Sabrina told everything herself. Well, or maybe I did. Oh, wow. Sabrina, darling, do you want some tea or coffee? Oh, look who's here, Cindy. I'm so glad to see you. Do you also want something to eat or drink? Oh, I would love to. Oh, Eileen, you're already preparing everything. That's great. I saw Cindy came. Oh, I'm so happy she's here. I hope Sabrina already knows that she's here. to empties come soon. They are probably already preparing the tea, coffee and candies. Yes, yeah, Sabrina, I'm starving. Oh, there we are. Sabrina, Cinder and Pumpkin, we brought you lots of stuff to eat and drink. Finally, sisters, I could have died or eaten an elephant. Oh, Pumpkin, you always loved food. We know that. Oh, yes, sisters, I always loved food. But don't forget Cindy and Sabrina. While we were waiting for you, they both were starving too. Wow, is that true, Sabrina and Cindy? Yep, it's definitely true, right? Yes, aunties, all three of us. We couldn't wait until you come, especially Pumpkin. No, Sabrina, stop putting the blame on me. We all know how hungry you are. Right, Cindy? Come on, Cindy. Tell our two aunties that Sabrina was the hungriest. Oh, no. Pumpkin, you're the one that said, I want to eat an elephant or I could eat a whole elephant. So, Pumpkin, we all know you're the one who can't wait to get food in your mouth. Oh yes, Cindy, you're definitely right. Pumpkin was the only one that said he could eat an elephant. Okay, okay, I admit it, I could eat an elephant. But ladies, I let you win only this one time. Next time, I'm gonna beat you. How exactly do you plan beating us, Pumpkin? You're just a cat, and where? 
powerful witches, my two aunties, Cindy and I. Now, Sabrina, you're forgetting that you're just a half-witch. I was once a full wizard. I had so much power, and in a few years, I'm going to be a full wizard again. I'm back again. So, what was the conversation about? I heard Sabrina, Cindy, and Pumpkin. You three were talking about something special, important? Well, aunties, we weren't talking about something special or important. Pumpkin was just reminding me that I'm a half-witch. And he said that he lets us win this time. We were talking about food. So I said that we're powerful witches and Pumpkin reminded me that I'm a half-witch. Oh yeah, Pumpkin is really mean. And I'm also a half-witch because I also have the same sign as Sabrina on her right hand. Pumpkin, don't be mean. It's not Sabrina's fault that she is a half-witch. Remember that, okay? No more mean comments, Pumpkin. Oh, sisters, that's not a mean comment. I'm just stating the facts. And being a half-witch isn't bad. Half-witches have the exact same powers, but they don't live forever like full wizards and witches. Pumpkin. Why do I feel that you are so mean to me? Stop being mean. What's the matter with you, Pumpkin? Why are you so mean today? Stop making fun of Sabrina or something like that. It's not funny. Being a half witch is no shame. Alright, sisters. I just wanted to mess around. I didn't want to make Sabrina feel bad. You call that messing around, Pumpkin. Oh, okay, but please, don't be so mean. Okay, Eleanor, I think it's time to end this story. At least we have a happy ending. Sabrina found out that Johnny and she, they both have been loving each other since the past. And now, bye-bye. Oh yes, Eileen, that's true. Another happy ending.